Hi guys, welcome to a quick video on how to use your calculator to convert between rectangular form and polar form and polar form and rectangular form. So this is something I've talked about in problem sheets and I've just asked you to use your calculator and to familiarize yourself with how this is done because each calculator is slightly different. So just to show you where you can find this information to make your lives a bit easier, here's a little video. So all I've done is I've googled for a calculator model. Um, you can add manual while you're looking for this. This example uses one of the University of Liverpool approved calculators, so hopefully yours will be something similar to this. So if just Google for this manual, we can see it covers quite a few different ranges. And a lot of this information isn't particularly easy to digest. Um, on a side note, remember not to carry around the calculator in your back pocket. So um, there's another manual where it says, Please don't carry it around in the back pocket if you're slacks. I've never heard trousers called slacks, but uh, there you go. Anyway, the main thing you need to be aware of is that you've got the second function on your calculator. It's the big yellow button in the corner, so this one here, um, and this enables you to do all the orange commands on your calculator. The ones we're particularly interested in are this bit here, which has R and theta, so that's the polar coordinate version. We're also interested in XY, which is the rectangular version. And then we've also got to use this store function with the second function, which gives us a comma. This allows us to input X and Y. So it allows us to input two different numbers so we can do our coordinate system. We also want this function here, the second function, which is a comma. This allows us to flip between the two different memories that we've stored into. So a very simple way to do it is we just it tells you in the manual, I'm just going to scroll through, it says, this is quite a long manual, right, just here, coordinate conversions. So it says, before performing a calculation, select the angular unit. This is telling you to remember to put it in degrees or radians, depending on what you're doing. We're normally working in degrees, as we know. So the rectangular coordinates, we've got X is along the real axis, and Y is going to be our imaginary axis. That's what we need to know. Then we're going to polar coordinates. Our x-axis goes along here, our y goes here. But what we're interested in is r, which is the length of the phaser, and theta, which is going to give us the angle between that and our x-axis. So that tells us what we get. And it says the value of r or x is going to be stored in the x memory, and the value of theta or y will be stored in the y memory, because this calculator can hold more than one value variable in the memory. The best way to work out how to do this is if you keep scrolling down, what you have are some sample calculations. This is what's really helpful, so you can check that you've pressed the right buttons. So down here, number 11, this is going to tell us how to perform a simple conversion to make sure we're doing it right. So what it tells you to do is it tells you the order you need to press the buttons in. So what we're doing here is we're taking a coordinate, rectangular coordinate, where x is 6 and j is 4, because remember y is our imaginary axis, and we convert it into polar form. So what you need to do, you need to turn your calculator on, which is helpful. Let's get this up here. So we need to turn the calculator on, so these just tell you the buttons. Then we need to enter our x coordinate, which in this case is 6, so press number 6. Then you need to press the second function button, and then you need to put in a comma, which is this function, sorry, this one here. So we've put in the x value, second function, comma, we can then input our y value, which is four, so then press the number four. So these obviously will change depending on what you're calculating. So that's step one, we've input the value of our rectangular coordinates. Now we're gonna perform that conversion. What you do then is press the second function key and then this one, which converts it into our theta, into polar form. What it will then display is the value of r. That's our first bit. So write that down. And then when you want the value of theta, you need to press the second function key and then press this button here. So that flips between the x and the y memory. Then you get the value of theta and it will actually show you up here, it will say r is equal to or theta is equal to. So you'll be able to see what you're looking at. And you can do that. You can press it again and it will take you back to the R function so you can keep looking. So that's how we go from rectangular to polar. 
To go from polar to rectangular, the process is pretty similar. So here's a sample calculation here. This time we're going to convert the polar coordinates 14 at an angle of 36 degrees into x and y coordinates. So here, put in your first value, so this is 14. Then we're going to press second function, comma, because we need to input the second part, in this case the angle. So then you type in your angle. As long as you're in degrees mode, that's fine. So then we've put, so we've put in the value, now we're going to convert it. Next up, we need to press second function, and now we're going to press this x, y, and that's going to convert from polar to rectangular. And what we'll then see is the value of x. And this helpfully tells you what answers you should be getting. So at this point, you should see 11.326 da, 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 on your screen. If you don't, you've done something wrong. Check your calculator, first of all, is not in radians. So that's our value of x. Now we need to find the value of y. So we're going to look at the other part of the memory. So we need to press second function and then this key, and that will then display the y value. And you should be seeing a value of 8.228, etc., on your screen. And again, you can flip back to the x value by pressing second function and this key again. And you can keep flipping back between the two. So hopefully that's helpful to you. Please be familiar using your calculator because it will save you a lot of time in the exam.